just going to say that I agree that we are in an environment of a lot of racialized violence. Um, and I recognize the history of racism that brought us to this point. I'm not going to say anything that you all haven't heard before. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Brooke, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Arizona. I'm in gender and women's studies there, and my daughter is a second grader at Ochoa. Um, so I moved here a few years ago, and since then, I've seen a suite of racist laws get passed in Arizona. It's an extremely racist environment. I'm sure that you all understand um, what we're dealing with here. So um, I've been following this issue for a long time, and I guess what I wanted to say was, it's really interesting to me to hear all the, actually the consensus of the people who are speaking to you in these forums. And I'm also speaking from a position where I hear a lot of consensus about this. My department is a place where we've organized for the defense of Mexican American studies. We're a gender and women's studies department. There's actually broad consensus, I would say, in the social sciences and the School of Humanities at the University of Arizona that we support these programs. And we're glad to see that Mexican American studies looks like it probably will be reinstated um, given the plan that's been put out. Um, so we want to, I, I would say that I know a lot of people, and I'll just speak for myself, who are really looking forward to the reinstatement of that program, um, which is looking to rectify a very long history of racism that actually is centered in the schools here. Um, so I'm going to hit a few points. They're all points that you've heard before. Um, you've seen the, the statement of several youth groups, the Declaration of Intellectual Warriors um, from the Mecha groups and from Unidos. Those groups are also very listened to in our town. There are many people who support those groups. We support um, youth interest and activism in their own education, and I very much support the points that they brought up there. Some of the points that they brought up there um, were they're interested in the expansion of ethnic studies um, for younger students, Mexican-American studies, especially for incoming students. They should be core courses. Those courses should be considered advanced courses. All students who are in dual language programs, all students who speak more than one language should be considered advanced students. Um, I, I've heard at these forums about the, the omission of Native American youth in the plans going forward and it seems like it's very urgent to um, expand programs that work for equity towards Native American youth. Um, I'll end by <laughs> make a couple quick points. Restorative justice is an amazing idea for this school system. We shouldn't have negative discipline. We shouldn't have a school to prison pipeline. We should not be sending young people to juvenile hall. Um, and we shouldn't be segregating ELL students clearly. Um, you know, racial, racial equity in TUSD is something that many community members are very interested in. So I also support the institutionalization of community voice. Um, in the future of TUSD, um, you'll hear a lot of active community members who are willing to discuss all the issues that have been brought up by our extremely racist government here. Thank you.